I'm a neuropsychologist, uh, which means that I basically fiddle with the brain. Uh, my passion has been to try and help people after things like head injury, stroke, or just general declines that may not have a very good explanation. Uh, exactly the stuff that you were talking about a little before. When people are beginning to decline, they're getting forgetful, they're asking, do I have dementia? Do I not? What exactly is going on? And, uh, you know, for a long time, there was so little that we could do for the brain. The brain was treated as it was talked about as this black box. You can't get in there, you can't look at it, and you can't fix it. How are you going to fix such a thing? Um, then we had brain mapping, which you showed earlier with the topography of that lady in the 70s having some decline. I do those brain maps. I can tell you that that brain map that you showed is dramatic. It's a dramatic transformation. And it takes months, years of very, very careful coordination of many different things to get the person to have that kind of improvement. So what we know is that when the brain declines, there are a few things that decline. And it's not just the brain, it's the whole body. We have mitochondria sitting in the cells of our body and in the neurons of our brain. The more mitochondria you have, the better you function. In the mitochondria, which is referred to as the powerhouse of the cell, you have also ATP. That is the fuel of the powerhouse of the cell. Hmm. ATP is like the fuel that goes in your car. That is what we need in our brain. Adenosine triphosphate is the thing that makes the thing go. It makes the brain work. You also have another substance, cytochrome C oxidase. And I promise I'm going to be light on the science here, but I really do want folks to understand the science. And I want to also shed light on the sheer genius of David. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm getting to. Okay. So you've got cytochrome C oxidase, which is the courier of the brain. It grabs the good, healthy electrons that come into your body, which are coming in through the oxygen you breathe, healthy foods that you're eating, you're taking electrons from that and you're binding them with a calcium, with a potassium, going into everywhere that it's needed and doing the job. So between these three things, the CCO, the ATP, and the mitochondria, you've got the entire mechanism of that self-healing that Eugenia spoke about. The body can heal itself. It does, right? I mean, think about how many terrible things happen to people and they do seem to heal. And even in much earlier years when we had so much less in the way of medication and interventions, people healed from pretty bad injuries. But it's predicated upon your having all of the conditions that allow your tissue to heal. That is enough mitochondria that are powered enough by the ATP and also fired up by the CCO. Then we'll get to the stem cells, which is another dimension of this. So first, the first thing I want to share with everybody is that there's more than 30 years of solid research behind the power of photobiomodulation or photomodulation therapy, whichever you want to call it. So much so, there's a Harvard researcher by the name of Dr. Michael Hamlin. Um, do we have that, uh, that little display I wanted to share with folks? There we go. Thank you so much, Nate. So um, first of all, I just want everybody to see, and if you want, copy this um, particular uh, URL, which is going to lead you to Dr. Michael Hamlin's review of photobiomodulation of 2016 and then another one in 2018. In the first one, the 2016 review, he covers the science of photobiomodulation very much in detail. It's an incredible article. It's just mind-blowing. Um, so here I also shared with you, if we can go down just a little bit, the uh, mitochondria. This is what they look like. They contain the very folds of the DNA of your brain. That's the whole program. You know, without the program, where are you going? How are you going to fix anything? How are you going to take care of that brain, which needs to deal with cleanup every day after the wear and tear of the day? So you rely upon the DNA working um, you've got the ATP in here. ATP synthase particles um, are the, where the ATP is formed. Okay, now we advance down a little more. And what I want to show you uh, in the next slide is where the CCO goes. The cytochrome C oxidase travels to all of these different areas that you're seeing. 
The right side in the green is plants. Okay, let's not worry about the plants. They seem to take care of themselves pretty well, but we need to take care of ourselves, right? So in the human body, look at all of these actions that the CCO does. You need to boost your CCO, right? And you need to boost your ATP. I think we're all in agreement on that. Down to the next slide. This is the most exciting of them all. This is Michael Hamblin's depiction of, I want to stress this to you. This is his findings directly from research. This is found in rat brains and mouse brains. So this is actual findings. This is not theory. This is not, I think this is what happens. This is what actually happens as documented. When you shine light on the brain, you get reduction in inflammation. It's anti-inflammatory. You get reduction in edema, which is collection of blood in areas where you don't want so much blood. You promote lymphatic drainage, which allows better flow of your C CSF, your cerebrospinal fluid, and all of the various substances in your brain that need to travel different places throughout the day. You get increased blood flow. You get neuron progenitor cells, which help you make new neurons. Yes, we do need to make new neurons. The neurons of our brain are replaced every seven to eight months. If you don't replace them, you're limping along on ailing neurons like on crutches. Synaptogenesis is the formation of new memories. Neurotrophins are the things that you need as precursors to making the neurons. SOD, we know that word already. It's associated basically with health and cleanup, the antioxidants of the brain. Survivin is linked to the telomeres, which is how long are you going to keep your brain? How long are you going to keep your DNA working for you? That's linked to the survivin. Anti-apoptosis is to stop the death of cells. Apoptosis is when the brain basically prunes away the dying cells. So all of these good things are happening to you when you get light into the brain, right? Okay, so now we go down a little more and I wanna show you how I worked in my office. I still work in my office with this kind of stuff, expensive equipment on which I've you spent tens of thousands of dollars for each device, either probes or arrays, like in the bottom picture, things that you apply to people's bodies. They come in, they pay for uh, all this time that's involved of the practitioners to administer this to them. And they have to come frequently during the week for quite a few weeks or months. So when my buddy, as you mentioned, Steve, uh, my neurologist genius friend, Dr. Whitman, came to me and said, hey, I got this magical patch for you. I said, are you out of your mind? I spent tens of thousands of dollars on equipment to treat people. And you're telling me this can do the trick? He says, yeah, it's doing it for so many people. You really ought to try it. So now I want to switch to my personal testimony. You did yours, Steve. I'm going to do mine real quick. At the time that we had this conversation, I had been consulting with neurosurgeons for my back. I had major back problems. I knew that I had a disc that had herniated four times. So basically, in essence, looking at the MRI, it's like there's no disc there. It's a flat thing. And of course, that means that I'm bouncing around. My vertebra are bouncing and hitting on the nerves. The pain was excruciating. Uh, should I do the surgery? Should I not do this? I don't want to do the surgery. Along came the patch. Three months, pain is gone. Four months, I'm back on the treadmill, I'm back on the elliptical, I'm running, jogging, doing whatever I want, which told me that it wasn't just that it took away the pain, took away the inflammation. It did what you were talking about, Gina. It replaced the inside of the disc because it replaces the collagen in the body. I don't know of anything else that can do that. I honestly do not know. And I'm in the healthcare business and I've looked at almost everything that there is in the interest of helping my patients. Yeah. So that got me really convinced. Now, to help you understand how does it do that, I'm just going to show you one more thing. Uh, if we can go down, yeah. So now we get to the sheer genius of the man who brings us all together today, David Schmidt. What is this? This is thermal imaging. This is what people look like when they're standing in the dark and you have no light on them, 
but you do a thermal imaging picture of them, what you're catching is the light coming from them. What does that mean? Near infrared light is being put out by our bodies all the time, right? Uh, you didn't think that there was this much, did you? I mean, there's a reason why the, the FBI, the CIA, can look through the walls of buildings and see a human alive inside by picking up this thermal imaging. That means that our bodies are beaming out a tremendous amount of near-infrared light. So here's what David did. He invented something that captures that near-infrared light coming off of our body. He tells us to put it where the stem cells are most congregated in our body, because as you probably know from having heard or read about this, it's in the CSF right here in the neck or around the belly button, right? We all know it's connected to the placenta, connected to the belly button. So you put this right there. It turns the light that you're putting out back into your own body and starts to do all the magical things that I spoke about before. Boosting the ATP, boosting the CCO, fixing your mitochondria, and then, yes, activating the stem cells as well. So <laughs> this, right, for, for a few dollars a day, um, it's a remarkable new invention. Now, let me tell you, I would put it to you guys this way, and I'll finish with this. Many of us have had the dream of coming up with something, an invention, that would be such a hit that it could make a ton of money, right? And if we didn't have that kind of creativity or we didn't think we could ever invent such a thing, we dreamed about having our best buddy or our brother say to us, you know what, I've come up with something. It's a winner. Come with me. Ride my coattails. David Schmidt has come to us all and he has said, I want you to ride with me on this. He's come up with devices and things that basically work with your body naturally. So it's a total do no harm thing. There is no way this can harm you. It's simply supplementing the action going on in your body and boosting it so that your body can heal and protect and look after itself in the years to come. I want to ride those coattails. Hey, that is amazing. Yes. Hey, thanks, Dr. Newman. Uh, I really one of the couple of things I'm going to ask you one more question. But one of the biggest things that I love about this is that where can a pro athlete, a flight attendant be teamed up with a doctor such as Dr. Newman and have these kind of relationships right. and partnerships and think about when people do this. Everyone brings something different to the table and we're all going to win together and make this happen. We're all just getting started. I mean, we've only been involved for 30 months. Company's been around for 20 years, which I like because it's been going on, paid everybody for 20 years. You were going to say something. Yeah, absolutely. I want to I want to just echo what you're saying, Steve. Uh, I when when you're called a brand partner for coming into this company, it really is meant with total sincerity. There are so many things out there that are offering people the opportunity to make money. Where do you get this much training for free? Mm. Where do you get wall-to-wall -wall wraparound support? There are so many educational forums like this one that we're holding tonight going on all week, every week throughout the year. You have uh, the spirit of wanting to help. The reason I'm here is because I want to share what I understand about this and how special it is, because there are folks out there who don't work with photobiomodulation every day. I want to share with them what I've got so it helps them be better at what they do. We all want to do this for each other. And that's the other delight of coming into LifeWave is that we're brand partners with a ton of partners. And it's a lot of fun.